All right, so We Just Disagreed by Dave Mason. This is from the Let It Flow album, released in 1977. And Dave Mason, of course, got to start with Traffic, playing with Stevie Winwood. He wrote the song Feeling All Right, which was on the second Traffic album, released in 1968. And of course, Joe Cocker went on to cover that, right? And I found out so much stuff about Dave Mason when I was researching this song. Uh, all the people he's played with, Paul McCartney, George Harrison, he played acoustic guitar on the All Things Must Pass record. Uh, he played with the Stones, and the Stones' connection was Jimmy Miller. Jimmy Miller produced Traffic and kind of led him to playing with the Stones. And also, a really cool story is he was friends with Jimi Hendrix. And the story goes that he was hanging out with Jimi Hendrix at a mutual friend's apartment. And this guy puts on a record, it happens to be Bob Dylan's record that has All Along the Watchtower on it, right? And, of course, you know, the rest is history. But what's cool is that Dave Mason played 12-string on All Along the Watchtower. And he also sang um, backup vocals on Crosstown Traffic. So the guy's been around, you know, he's done a lot of stuff. And the other surprising thing is that he didn't write this song. A guy he played with called Jim Kruger wrote the song. It was at a time when Dave Mason had signed a record deal with Columbia Records and they wanted two albums a year from him. So, you know, he was looking for material and Jim Kruger presented this song to him and he wound up doing it. It was the biggest hit ever. Anyways, let's get into it. Um, the reason I've got this guitar going here, this is my old ovation and it's, I've got it with Nashville tuning, right? And if you have a look here, um, Get that in focus there. Uh, yeah. So you go to the music store and you buy this set of strings, right? Diodario is just the ones that were available at my local music store. I don't have any deals with them or anything, so. But it's Nashville tune. It's basically the high strings of a 12 string set. Right? And what you do is you track whatever you did with your six string with this, a Nashville tune guitar, and it sounds just like a 12 string, right? So you get this. Right, you get that really sweet, delicate sound. And put on top of the six string part, it sounds just like a 12 string. The only problem with doing this is you have to really learn your part because <laughs> you have to track it exactly right to make it sound right. Okay. So, anyways, I just thought I'd bring that up. Um, let me grab my tailor and we'll get into the lesson. All right, so we're in open E for this one, and I'll put the tuning down here again. And we're going to start like this. And what that is, is I'm hybrid picking that, so I'm going to hit the D string with my pick and pluck the high E with my middle finger. And then the open B. All right, so. And then bar G, B, and E on the fifth and slide it up to the seventh. On the record, I don't think they're hybrid picking. I think it's more just... You know, whichever you prefer to do. I like the sound of the hybrid pick better. I think it pops out better. Right? So we do that four times, and then we go into this. It's kind of the same thing, just a different voicing, right? So we're open, then we've got A2, G1, and B2. And playing all the strings and we're just sliding up two frets, right? And then we do that four times. All right, then the singing starts. All right, so we're gonna start open. And, you know, the feel on the right hand is really key to the song. So we've kind of got a... Bum, 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 right? Filling in with upstrokes. Right? 
So what we've got there is we're starting open, and then we're going to hit this chord, which is D9, or sorry, E9, D9, and G8. And I'm muting that A string. And really important to keep the B and the E strings ringing through this whole uh, progression. And we're just going to hit that once, and then we're going to come down to here, which is 7th fret E, D string, and G string, again muting the A string. Right? And this figure and that figure will repeat. Those are the only two figures you need in all the verses and choruses. The only other figure is that one and the intro, right? But other than that, it's that figure and that figure in different spots, right? So we got... And we're just going to hit that once and then down to here. And this chord is basically a C sharp minor, and this chord is basically like a B. And then we're going to come down here, two frets, same figure, and that's like an A, and we're going to go. And then it's. is so important in this, right? Strumming is such a, you know, such a feel thing, it's really hard to explain it. It just... And then that whole thing repeats. You got to get the shots here like this part and the next part are full of these off shots right so and what i do is i think of the words and do the off shots on the words rather than counting so it right is an off shot The second half of I is another off sharp, right? And then we're going to do this. Right? Okay, and then the, to finish off, we're going to go. Okay, that to me is key. That's the part that I struggle with a bit, you know, just to nail those off shots. So it's like this. Off, off, on, on. Right? Off, off. Okay, one more time. And that's followed right behind by... Um, right? And that chord I never mentioned before, that's like just an E chord with a third in the bass. Right? Now we're going to do... thing repeats so some tricky rhythmic stuff there the only way to get it I can't explain it to you really you know you just have to listen to it over and over and get it locked in your head okay so let's do the whole thing so far but we'll shorten it up a bit <laughs> Okay, 
Thanks of the chorus, pre-chorus. Super cool, really excellent guitar playing, or really well thought out and uh, really tightly played. Okay, and that's pretty well led, except the ending, which is just vocals where it goes. And that's what I did in my demo on guitar, right? It's just. So hopefully I covered everything there. Um, I'm not sure if I named all the chords, but that's the C, C sharp minor, right? That's like a B, that's like an A, and this is like an E with a third in the bass. Okay, so that's it for this one. Really love this song. It's one of those songs that um, I think, as far as the charts went, it got to number 12. It was never a number one, but it's one of those enduring songs because I think the message in it is so universal, you know, and a, I think a lot of people you know, over the years can relate to this and will relate to it. Anyways, that's it for this one. I hope you get something out of it. I really enjoy playing this song. It sounds so good in the open tuning. And of course, the key thing is those open strings, the B and the E string, constantly ringing, right? Alright, like I said, I hope you get something out of it, and we'll talk to you next time.